Hey guys, Rhett here. What's going on? Want to talk to you today about something that I hear all the time. And I think this will really, really help you in your search to build passive income and real estate wealth in other states. So I work with a ton, a ton of clients, guys, who are in California, Colorado, um, Texas, Florida, New York, um, Massachusetts, areas around the country, and, 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 and so many more states than that. But I, I choose those couple of states because they're extremely expensive. Arizona, right? So places that are very, very expensive, okay, where it's really hard to buy property and have it make sense from an investment standpoint. So what a lot of these really smart investors do is they, they go online and they do their research, right? So they look up um, cheapest real estate market in the U.S., best market for Section 8 in the U.S., right? And that is a good thing to do, okay? And you'll find a couple of, of the same markets come up. You'll find some cities in Ohio. You'll find some cities in Michigan. You'll find some cities in, in Illinois. You'll find some cities in uh, Mississippi and in maybe Alabama and in Arkansas, you'll find places that show you really, really short property. When I mean short property, property that that's very cheap. Now, I'm here to tell you that purchase price is about 15% of the most important aspect of investing out of state, Okay. You might look at a property and people call me all the time. They say, Rhett, you know, I'm looking at property in this state. You know, I love the prices in this state. I looked at the prices in this state. I looked at the, the HUD fair market rent. This makes sense. I'm going to do it. And th those investors are missing a crucial, extremely, extremely important aspect of this. And there are other people out there that have programs and that, that, that consult and that coach. Um, and I put that in quotations because most people don't coach. They just give you a list of references, which isn't coaching. Um, and the, the biggest issue guys is finding the right market is so much more than price. Price is, is, is literally to me, it's, it's, it's irrelevant. It, it has barely any relevance because yes, is that what you can afford? Maybe. Is that what will determine your cash on cash return or your cap rate? Maybe, but it's not going to make you successful. You could show me on paper a 40% uh, cap rate or a 35% cash on cash return. How are you getting it? How are you, how are you setting it up logistically? That's what I care about. Do you have a team to make it work? That's what matters. So you can find these markets that you can buy houses for 15, 20, $30,000 a piece. But do you have a contracting team that can rehab them that you can call and that you can trust and that you're confident sending 30, 40, $50,000 to, to get the rehab done and get it done right? Do you have a realtor that you trust will get you uh, in front of the right closing and title company? will go to the property and say, yeah, this is in a good area. Or yes, I work with investors all the time. I know other people that have properties in this area. This is what they're doing. This is what they're renting for that has a good grasp on that area that's trustworthy and reliable. Do you have a management company that can honestly put people in that unit for the rent that you expect that will receive calls about maintenance that will dispatch people when maintenance comes that will get that money in. they'll have an accountant take care of all the funding to get you your money on time. Will that management company have significant experience with section eight or cash tenants, whatever you prefer and be able to handle that? Will they have the infrastructure on their end to make sure that it works for you? So guys, there are so many more aspects that that go into the right market for you than solely price. And, and what I mean by that is, if I haven't already explained it, every person on your team, so, and, and we'll keep it really small, even though it's bigger than this, I won't even include lenders, the importance of the right insurance company, the importance of the right attorneys. 
we're just going to focus on, on the meat and potatoes, which is the realtor, the contractor, and the management company. Each one of them needs to have infrastructure that is set up that works. If their infrastructure independently doesn't work, your infrastructure won't work because you are dependent on them. So when you talk about getting into a market, you have to be fluid in that market, meaning you, you can't just expect to buy turnkey property after turnkey property after turnkey property after turnkey property because you're going to run into some issues where you need to spend 10000 on rehab work or you need to rely on a management company to get somebody into that unit for a little bit more money because you spent more money than you thought. So you need to call the management company and say, look, I screwed up. I spent more money than I had anticipated. I need, I need an extra $100 a month in rent. Can you get it? Purely looking at property based on purchase price, you can buy property all day long for twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. If you don't have the, the right realtor, contractor, or management company, you're not going to make money. You're not going to have the right lines of communication. You're not going to have the reliability factor that you need to secure property over the long term. If you have property for 10, 15, 20 years, that's how you're successful. Even five years is short term, right? But still... In order to get a property from zero to five years, you need reliable management. You need reliable contracting. You need reliable handyman. You need reliable maintenance infrastructure. You need reliable communication structure because it's not always sunshine and rainbows and Lamborghinis and Ferraris and Rolls Royces. It's grinding. It's getting your elbows dirty. It's getting your knees dirty. It's getting in there and figuring out how to solve problems. Okay. That is as real as it gets. And when you're looking at paper, okay, you're looking at a reference sheet and you're like, okay, well, that looks like a good market. What, what's the purchase average purchase price? What's the median income? Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. I guess I'll buy there. Yeah, okay, let me just Google realtors. Okay, I'll just use them. Guys, if you want to fail, that's what you should do. That's a great way. If you want to throw money down the toilet, that, that is what you should do. Um, you need teams. You need to build them the right way. You need to look at the big picture, okay? Look at the big picture and, and begin with the end in mind. Always, always, always. In order for me to get to 10 properties, I need to plan that before I have one. What infrastructure do I need? Who's going to be a good fit? How can I check their references? Who can I call about them? I want to build my team. This is what I need to do. I would rather spend 100000 per house and have a perfect infrastructure and have the great people than spend 20000 per house and have an unreliable contractor and an unreliable management company and a realtor who only cares about transactions. I'd rather spend 10 times, 5 times that to have property that I know is secure, to property that I know is reliable. In property that I know if I, there's an issue that comes up, I can just pick up the phone and handle it, okay? That is how you're successful as a real estate investor in the long term. It's about not having the headaches. It's about having people that you trust. It's about having a process and logistics that work. Logistics are more important than purchase price. Say it again. Logistics are more important than purchase price. Write it down. Write it down, okay? So... The next time you hit that Google, best Section 8 markets in the country, boop, cheapest real estate markets in the country, boop, I promise you, if you don't have the infrastructure set up, if you don't have the logistics set up, it's not going to be the cheapest. You're going to end up spending a lot more money in the long run, okay? Guys, thanks for watching. Please leave your questions and comments below. I know it was a lot of information. Tell me if you agree with me or disagree with me, and we'll see you next time.